Hello everyone, George Rambler Man here. Welcome to my channel in my garage. I appreciate you tuning in and listening to my miscellaneous motorcycle ramblings. Today I want to share some comments with you on a new product out of the market. It is a navigation unit manufactured by a Chinese company called Chiggy. It's called the AIO-5 Play. This model is made especially for BMWs. It utilizes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So I purchased this unit about a month ago, uh, ordered it online. It's about $500, so it's not inexpensive, but it's good quality. You know, the company is Chiggy, they're from China, but the unit's very solid, uh, appears to be well-made. Uh, when you first get it, you've got to update the firmware and software and go through a pairing process and set up, but it's, very, it's pretty quick, pretty seamless. The instructions are good. And after you've gone through that first process, uh, you, you power up the bike and it just starts up and, and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, like I said, for the past month. So let's take it out on the road and I'll give you some more comments. I'm kind of a techie. I, I, I'm, you know, <laughs> I, I like uh, a lot of the uh, technical things that go along with uh, cars and motorcycles. And, you know, I go on some trips on this thing and you know, nine times out of ten when I'm riding around where I live, I don't need a GPS. I know where I'm going. But when I go on a trip, it's nice to have. And it's also just nice to be able to look down and kind of get an idea of when you're going to be someplace. And So I tried everything on this BMW. And the good thing about this BMW F750GS, and I've got the 2023 model. The 2024s are the same. And, and really all the BMW... Uh, GS bikes, even the 1250s and 1300s, they come with this navigation preparation that you can fit various things in. You can get a adapter and put your um, put your phone in, which I did. That was the first thing I did. I got this adapter from the dealer. It is a kind of negotiated as part of the deal. He gave me the adapter and. And I put my phone in it, and it worked okay. Uh, the only way you could control the maps on the on the phone was to, you know, use the touchscreen part of the phone, which is not good while you're moving. And the screen would kind of dim automatically sometimes, and you know, but it worked okay. I mean, you can see some of my previous videos. I've got the, my iPhone 13 Max, I think I've got on there and uh you know it's, it's it was pretty good but one thing that i i did notice was that it um that, that it vibrated quite a bit this this mount here for whatever reason had a lot of vibration to it and that's not good for an iphone from what i understand i understand that it can affect the camera more than anything else so I decided, well, I gotta try something different. So I went and bought the BMW Connected Ride Navigator, which is, I think it's, uh, I think BMW actually makes the newest version of that. Garmin used to make these for BMW, and I bought that. It wasn't very inexpensive either. If you're interested in that particular unit, buy it off the uh, BMW website in Europe. I bought mine for like 500 euros, which is a lot cheaper than the $900 that the local BMW dealer wanted. And it worked okay. I used it on my trip to West Virginia. Um, uh, but I had some issues with it. It froze up a couple of times where I had, to, uh, I had to pull over and stop and completely power down the bike, power the bike back up and to get it to um, work. I didn't like that. Sometimes the, the pairing of their headset to it wasn't very seamless and it was just, it was a little bit quirky. <laughs> But as far as the directions go, it was okay. One thing I didn't like about it is you have to keep downloading the maps and map updates. It doesn't, it's not automatic. You have to keep doing that. And the graphics on the screen were kind of old school GPS. They weren't uh, what I was used to. And you know, what I really wanted was like what I have in my car, Apple CarPlay. I have an Apple phone. If you have an Android phone, you have Android Auto, but you know, I travel a lot on business and I get rental cars and I, you know, I, I don't ever pay attention to looking up maps of where I've got to go. I just have an address in my phone of an appointment that I've got and I hook up the 
my iPhone to my rental car to the Apple CarPlay and just tap the address and off I go. And I, I think eventually all motorcycles and BMW will eventually incorporate that into their main screen here that you see. But for now they don't. Um, so as I was watching YouTube videos not too long ago, I, I saw a, a number of videos for this new product from China. It's called Chiggy. It's a company in China. They make this uh, unit especially for the BMW. They make them for other motorcycles as well. But if you buy the one especially for BMW, it fits into this cradle just like the BMW unit does. And it, you can pair it to your TFT screen and you can use this little wonder wheel uh, to control it. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller. It's like a five inch screen. I think the, the communicator for BMW is a little bit bigger. Uh, I know it is, but uh, uh, but this is very readable and, and uh, it's really seamless. And the thing I like about it, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, you just hook it up, you pair it to your phone, you pair your headset to your phone, and it's pretty seamless. Uh, and so far, it's working great. I normally use Apple Maps. I like the graphics and everything on Apple Maps. You know, it's connected to your phone, so you get traffic updates and, you know, warnings when the, <laughs> there's a speed camera or a cop ahead so yeah and you can use any you can use google maps you can use Waze, you can use any app that you got on your phone you can, it'll show right up on this uh, on this chiggy unit and i know it's made from china it's from china but you know what it's well made it's very solid it fits very securely into this bracket and uh i'm happy with it uh it does everything i want it's got the interface that i'm used to with the apple carplay so there's no learning curve there uh, and it's also got, you know, you can uh, touch, the, you know, I don't like to do a lot of touch screen when I'm riding, but if you hit the touch screen, as you can see, it, uh, you know, the main screen comes up, you can, I can listen to music or the radio app or whatever I want. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's very compatible even with gloves, the, uh, the touch screen. So it works great. And again, you can control it with this wonder wheel. And uh, to me, it's the best navigation option out there if you've got a, if you've got a BMW motorcycle. Um, this appears to be well made. Now, I've only had it about a month, so I mean, long term, I don't know. But, uh, and I wish they would come out with a, a bigger unit. But for me, it works great. Uh, I like it. it. It gives me what I want. I don't see myself going back to the BMW unit anymore. I'm not going to mount my phone up here anymore. Uh, you know, it stays charged with this cradle. So, so far I give it an A+. Uh, the only small quirk that I've had is uh, occasionally I'll take off and my headset won't be uh, paired up right away. I'll have to turn my Senna headset on or turn it off and then turn it on again. And it usually pairs up right away at that point. I don't know why it does that. Uh, my only suggestion to you is fire the bike up, get the Chiggy unit connected to your phone, get everything up on the Chiggy unit, then turn your Cine headset on and it, it should pair no problem. Um, again, you can connect this to Wi-Fi when you're at home and you know keep the up software updated. And when you first get this unit, they tell you to, to do that, to make sure you have the latest and greatest uh, software or firmware, whatever they call it, on the unit. And I just uh, updated it last night. Uh, I think the newest and newest uh, firmware, you know, corrects a few bugs and, um, you know, that's pretty typical for any type unit. So that's it. Uh, I, I give it an A plus if you're looking for a good navigation option and they make these for other bikes. I mean, you can, you know, get them for other type motorcycles. Uh, and, and some of the other versions they have actually come equipped with like a, like a little dash cam on it. If you have it mounted up here high, it's got, even got a little dash cam unit that uh, goes with it. Not the BMW branded version or the one that's made specially for BMW. But I like it. I think it's uh, finally, uh, you know, after going through three different, uh, <laughs> three different choices or three different options i finally found what i like the best and uh, i'm going to stick with it all right beautiful day here had a great ride this morning with my knights of columbus buddies that's why i've got my knights of columbus knights on bikes vest on today 
it's kind of hot this leather vest is kind of hot but uh, it is what it is we had a great ride this morning we went over to southern devil harley davis and they had a big uh, event there charity ride for veterans which we uh we're going to ride in, and a couple of guys in the group did go on it. Uh, there must have been 500 motorcycles there today, and I'm not really into that big a group ride, so I didn't go on it. Just kind of hung out there and uh, had some drinks and food and hung out with my buddies there at Southern Devil, Harley Davidson, and Cartersville. Now I'm on Highway 136, headed back home. Another great day to ride. This is George Rambleman. Everybody have a great week. So long, everybody.